Breaking news. Afeni Ferry urges international community to prevail on Benin Republic. Federal government to release Sunday Boho Nandi Kano. Excuse me, my people, it's gone for far too long now. What exactly have these people done? What is really their crime? And why are they being treated as though they've committed crime? Those that are committing crime in the northern part of the country, okay, that take away lives and do all kinds of vices. Nothing is being done to them. Nobody does anything. Nobody says anything. In fact, they go scot-free. Even the government is negotiating with them. So it's really a call for concern. Why those who are saying we have been neglected, you know, marginalized, non-appreciated, and we feel that we have no value or no place in Nigeria, if that is the case, can we go on our tangent? They said these are the ones who have committed crime, and they are doing everything, humanly speaking, to frustrate them. Does it make sense? That is the government of our time that have no what we call priority. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Afeni Ferry urge international community to prevail on Benin Republic, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to also release Sunday Boho and Kano. The Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization Afeni Ferry yesterday call on the international community to prevail on the government of Nigeria and that of Benin Republic to release Yoruba Nation activists, Sunday Adeyemo, popularly called Sunday Igboho. The group also called on the federal government to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nandi Kano. Igboho was arrested in Benin Republic last year on his way to Germany, having escaped from Nigeria following the evasion invasion order f invasion order he gave to the following the eviction order he gave to the Fulanese to leave Yoruba land who were making life unbearable for the people who was making life to leave Yoruba land because they were committing atrocities this has gone this has been rubbed off on the federal government in the wrong side who take it on on Igboho Kano is still in custody of the federal government, standing trial on cases bordering of incitement of citizens against the government, which the federal government has turned into another word called terrorism and all that. He, was not, he has not done any of that. He only pointed out the negligence of the government towards her people. Afeni Ferry made the call after a meeting holding at the house of the acting leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, According to a statement signed by the National Publicity Secretary, Jaye Ajayi, leader in attendance, including the former governor of Kwara State, Chief Collins Adebayo, former deputy governor of Lagos State, and others, more important people, were also there. The meeting revealed several challenges Nigeria has been facing since independence. It noted that the country has worsened social, economic, political, and security-wise. The spokesman said Afeni Ferry calls on all men and women of conscience, particularly the international community, to prevail on the government of Nigeria and Benin Republic to release, Unandi, to release Sunday Boho and Unandi Kano. Forthwith, the federal government should also pay Igboho the damage awarded by the court following the savage attack on his personality, his property, and people that were killed in his home for nothing. The meeting also called on the federal government to release Kano, even if on political consideration, as it happens in the case of Asiro Daso Dasobo, under Do Do Dokubo, under the then President Olusegun Obasanjo. So this is what is happening. You know, Sunday Boho, Unandi Kano, have not committed any offense. We keep saying that again and again. That is because it's true. They've not committed any form of offense. If they have, listen guys, if they have, we, will, we should not be protecting them. If they have committed any crime, no, it will be wrong and very, very wrong for us to go ahead and begin to, you know, pretend as if they have not committed an offense. Do you know Sunday Boho did not really commit any offense? Sunday Igboho, when the Fulanese were disturbing the Fulani headsmen, okay, and uh, you know, the others were disturbing the people around whom they were living. 
They cried out to the local government chairman, the first point of call. They extended the call as well to the, to the state governor. Nothing was done. The call continued to the federal government who pretended when the governor of Ondo State quickly said, you know, all Fulani headsmen should leave the forest of Ondo. Then we, we did not know the federal government used to hear what goes on in the land. We did not know. Honestly, we didn't know. But as soon as uh, Olu wrote to me, Akere Dolu made that call, presidency was the one that responded. So if you look at it, when you look at where a man's heart truly lies, it's clearly visible, open for all to see. There is no hiding place in the whole of the matter. Immediately, the federal government jumped out in protest. Ah, eh, why are you asking them to go? So this was what Sunday Boho did. He had to come to the aid of his people. He can't be there. And the people are oppressed, suppressed by those they gave hospitality to, whom they welcomed and said, welcome, you can have this place to stay. Then they became tyrant on them. And so they said, no, this is not fair. It's not fair in any way. What language is it fair? Please, you know. And they began to call out to say, please, release, you know, leave. If you will not follow the terms and condition, then that's the door. The federal government said, how dare you? I mean, the federal government is not even paying attention to what these people are doing to other people. They can't be bothered. The most important thing is that the Fulanese are having their way and doing whatever they are doing. Whatever happens to people, no care in the world. Sunday Igboho now said, if you, can't, if you can't stay with the people, you have to leave. And so Sunday Igboho asked them to leave. And guess what, my dear? You won't believe it too. As soon as Sunday Igboho said they should leave, ah, then the federal government began to send men upon men began to speak upon, upon words and you and everyone began to wonder so you guys have been there all along when these things have been happening you guys are aware it's a shame you see a big shame that's why i'm surprised at our very own brother you know our very own brother uh, uh, uh tinubu what is tinubu doing you know in the release of, of, of sunday Boho, what is he doing you have the Yoruba stock and you see that if it's your son, if it's Sheyi Tinubu, are you going to be quiet? It's just a question. Because you can show to the people what you will do for them from now. So that's why we are calling on everybody. Please, whoever can speak, let it be made loud and clear. Sunday Bo did not commit an offense. Release him. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.